previously we had met the idea of ratios and the idea of proportional quantities. Now that we have a little bit more of the language of algebra available to us, we can say a little bit more precisely what's happening with proportional quantities. Specifically, we can say that if x represents the amount of quantity A, y represents the amount of quantity B, and k is the ratio of the two quantities, then y is equal to the ratio times x. So let me give you a more concrete example that doesn't have any of this quantity A, quantity B stuff in it. Suppose that the ratio of students to teachers at a certain school is 20 to 1. Then we'll say that x represents the number of teachers, y represents the number of students, and k, the ratio, is the number of students for every teacher. So 20 over 1. Using the equation, then, we can say that the number of students, 200, equals the ratio times the number of teachers. We know how to do this now. We divide both sides by 20, and we get x is 10. So the answer is 10 teachers. Now, the hardest part of using this ratio equation is remembering what order the x and the y ought to come in. The thing to keep in mind is that the ratio is always written y over x, which seems backwards. Also notice that you could use different letters than x and y if you wanted them to correspond well to the things that you're actually describing. So for example, if we say the ratio of geese to ducks is 7 to 3, how many geese are there if there are 30 ducks? All right, we could say, instead of using the letters x and y, g is the number of geese, d is the number of ducks, and then the ratio, we're told the ratio of geese to ducks, that's g over d. The ratio of geese to ducks is 7 to 3. Since this ratio is g over d, d is the variable that's going to act like x in the ratio equation and g is going to act like y. So that means I'm going to have g is 7 thirds d. In this problem, I'm told how many ducks there are, and I want to find how many geese there are. So I'm going to say g is 7 thirds times 30 putting that into my calculator if I like, or working it out by hand, I get 70. So there are 70 geese. What are we doing here? That ratio equation isn't really a formula. We should really think about it as like a kit for building a formula. What do we really do? we say, well, what are our two proportional quantities? And if the ratio is given, what order is the ratio given in? Then the quantity in the denominator that is on the bottom is what the ratio should be multiplied by. The ratio equation expresses that in terms of variables. But we should keep in mind what we're doing as we set this up. 